Hello, I will talk about artificial intelligence and uh, creating your own images using AI. And it is a lot harder than people think. People think that you can just type some type some text in and you get the picture you're looking for, but that is far from the truth. You need to go through all the settings, go have a, a few dozen words that you input and uh, use the same seed number and change something small in the text input or change other settings and just fine tune the, Im the images like that until you get what you are searching for and uh, I just spent uh, the last 12 hours just getting one image that I wanted and it is super super difficult to get images of uh, people especially women who are not uh, who don't look strange like you have uh, three legs and stuff like that AI is not good at uh, creating pictures of women they are very deformed very strange looking especially the face looks like a beast really tough to get the, get the image done properly using AI so you have to experiment a long time until you get it right and what I discovered was this is important that when you press the generate button to create the image it is giving a, a random random image but if you save the seed number you can replicate the same image twice so you get exact same image if you have the same settings as long as you have that seed number and when you have that seed number you can fine-tune you can change very slight maybe the word you can add another word into the input and you get a, a slightly different uh, result in the image so it is really extremely important that you uh, use the seed number when generating the image using AI otherwise you just keep on getting random images and you have no idea what your text will do to, me, to the image because everything is random but with the seed number you can get the same image again and you can change a word or change a setting even changing the image size is going to result in a different picture all the little things and the, there are so many settings you can try and every changing every little little setting is going to change uh, the image slightly and that way you can fine-tune the image and get get what you are after get what you want and typing the the words in a different order will give a different image so there's a lot of experimentation that you need to find the image you want and it took me 12 hours to do so just generating new images all the time and I'm using uh, my own my own uh, program on my computer instead of a web based you have those uh, web based uh, AI stable diffusion programs that you can use they are really slow I use my own uh, on my computer a local locally based on my computer that was really fast I use my own uh, graphics card to generate the images instead of having to use a web based that takes a couple of minutes to do okay so even when I, I use my own program running on my own computer 
still I took 12 hours to get the image I wanted. So when people say that using AI to create art, that it is easy, it is not easy. It takes a really long time to create art using AI. It is not something automatic that that pops up when you type something in. It is really tough, it's really, really hard work to fine tune and get the proper image you want. It is like you go to the forest. It is just, just not uh, taking a photo of something random. It is, you need to take thousands of photos until you get the exact, uh, exact photo that you want. Something that looks good. Something that could be considered art. So it is not just not, not just snapping a photo randomly. You have to spend time to get every condition right. And uh, with the with the computer, with the AI program, you have to experiment a lot. You have no idea where to go. You, it, everything is random. But with the seed number, you can get some uh, consistency in what you do. Uh, you can replicate the same thing again. And when you use this, the same words, the same keywords for the input, but use a different seed number, you get a completely different result. You get different images. So it is like billions of possibilities of, of what you can do with AI to create images. It is really infinite, infinite amount of, it will take your entire life just to go through all those possibilities of this, all those images you can take, you can create with AI, okay? And I'm using AI for all the images in the catalog. In the Audio Firefox catalog, all the images most of the images have been made with AI as the background image of the product, of the tweaks. So what you see behind the tweaks, they are created with AI for a really long time. It is like art. So the catalog is not only audio for tweaks and not only IQ test, but also art using AI to create those nice looking pictures. Okay, so yeah, that's all I had to say. And really tough, it is not, it is not easy to create art with AI. So I will go, I will see you next time. Goodbye.